Welcome back to No Army Nation. It's been a long time. It's been about, what, two weeks since the last upload? Uh, with good reason. Winter is coming. It is a horrible season. I hate it. it. Sucks. And there's nothing I can do about it. Because of that, I need a place to store the Corvette. We're in the midst of trying to figure out whether we want to keep this house or not because the project to build the garage kind of makes no sense where you could just buy a house with a garage. As you can see there, that is the basic frame of a uh, canopy for the Corvette. So we're gonna complete that project today, hopefully. I pray to God. Are you sure about that? But before we get started with that, I just wanna give a huge thank you to all you guys that uh, have been commenting on the last video or all the videos or uh, we are so close to getting monetized again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it It really feels good that you guys actually are enjoying the content plenty more content to come. So stay tuned Let's get into this All right, so as you guys can see I have the remainder of all the rest of the items I am going to need my anchors uh, The strap pieces What else we got in there? The remainder pieces are inside the shed. I'm gonna get those out place them out here so far what I've accomplished is I've anchored these two sides still got to do this one and do this one and at which point we can start prepping this bad boy up it is 11:55. hopefully we can get this done early I hate my life These are the miscellaneous pieces that I have left. I have these poles. I have these tarps in this box. So hopefully this is all I'm going to need to assemble this whole debacle. So uh, all four corners are screwed in. These things are a hassle and a half to get in, but I completed all four corners. So now it's just a matter of uh, figuring out what the rest of this shenanigan says. I don't know. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Okay, so the instructions say to basically put the front flap in the front where you want to enter. In the back flap there so we're gonna start assembling this piece onto there uh, yeah hopefully uh, we keep treading along it's 1 p.m. I'm exhausted um, I haven't eaten all right the front is fully assembled now I gotta do the same exact thing to the back over here which is okay hopefully uh, it's just as easy and then at that point, we are going to put the top on. Second side done. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. All right, it's looking good. <laughs> Second side is done. All we need now are the sides, and it's still early. So we can get this done at a reasonable time. We could actually have some decent lunch, or some lunch period. So we're finally done as far as bringing this tarp over. I want you guys to keep in mind, this is a two-man job, and I did this on my own. It took me about an hour, it's supposed to take six hours, but it took me about an hour and a half at the most. So I'm gonna batten down the hatches on the inside. Let me, guys, let me show you guys the inside real quick. There's these bars on the bottom that I just put in, and you just gotta fasten them to these poles, and we should be all set. So, I'm gonna do that and hopefully I can put the Corvette in it tonight because it is going to rain tomorrow. And I'm kind of sick and tired of having it just out in the open. 
Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, fully erect, that's right, I used the word erect, tent. The Corvette is actually in here, so it is functional. Now, again, this is just supposed to be a uh, for now solution to uh, keeping the Corvette kind of clean, somewhat um, protected, because the winds around here are insane. Trash flies by all over the place. So, uh, hope you guys liked this uh, little project of mine. Uh, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.